Alrighty, so, um, I know it's been a long time coming and everything, but I have indeed completed my game room. So, um, I do apologize for the lack of classic game posters and the fact that there is no TV in there just yet. I'm still waiting to get my TV in there. Uh, I go ahead and give you my game room. For theatrical dramatics, I went ahead and shut the door. Here it is, my game room. I'm gonna go ahead and save the best for last in this room here, but as you can see, I've got the posters up on the wall there. Some old Guitar Hero 3 posters, Manhunt 2, Assassin's Creed. I was actually at the release party, so that was awesome. I've got my desktop computer running. I've actually got an emulator, uh, an arcade emulator running. Got my arcade stick there. Um, I'm actually in the works of building a an arcade cabinet. So uh, that that's a must right there. Uh, you can see there I've got my Z-String poster, as well as my Modern Warfare poster, my uh, Ghost Vengeance here. I've got kind of my docking station, if you will. I've got, you know, my DS's, my iPad, my PSP's. Down here, the only console you're gonna see in this room right now is actually the the Atari there with its uh, game center because I don't have the shelf in here just yet for my game consoles. You will see those later though. Going on with more posters, I've got my Zelda map that I printed up. Then I've got my Black Ops. And then my Pulp Fiction poster, which I mentioned in my last video that it would, had fallen and crinkled up. So, everybody's been wanting to see the collection, so I will go ahead and back up here and show the collection. Right now it's just occupying one shelf. This isn't the complete collection, unfortunately. This is all the room I had. So, I'm gonna kinda come up here, show the decorations a little bit. Yeah, you know, I know it's kinda, you know, kinda funny, but you know, I've got two of the uh, wacky wobbler bobbleheads from uh, Destroy All Humans. Those are, those are actually care of uh, Dark One Films. Uh, Josh Randall, or he, uh, had gotten a couple of those, handed those to me back in the day. So um, there's those, the Fallout 3 Collector's Edition. Duff Beer, which is actually an energy drink. My Lego Batman. My Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Night Vision Goggles with the soap head. And then so on. Now, coming down to the games, gonna start off with the PS2 collection. Right now, it's not a very big collection, like I said. Uh, I hadn't started really collecting them until just as of late. So you can kind of see in here, <clears throat> there, I've got my little big Planet 2 sack boy there. But uh, you can kind of come across and see what I got. <clears throat> and I will be showcasing some of these games as time goes by and I can't get out of uh, ideas to make new videos. This here, actually, is an old computer game that uh, I absolutely love. Um, it, um, you could build your own missions on it and everything. It was a, 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 a turn-based game. Real neat, I'm, still, I'm glad I still have that, actually. Down here, you can see the Game Boy. Here's my Nintendo games, which I thought I had my 200, but I forgot I sold some, because we needed the money. But um, here's my boxed games. Top Gun, Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3, Goonies 2, Double Dragon 2, Spy vs. Spy, Pac-Man, The Tension Pac-Man, Golf, Super Mario Bros. 2, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers, sorry. And then kind of go from there, but you can kind of see collection there and this collection is growing just quite a bit every day I'm gonna to try to get it in a little bit closer so you can see some titles and then there's actually more up there it's kinda of dark but but yeah 
There's about a hundred here right now, unfortunately. Um, I forgot I had to sell some. I was a little bummed about that, but, uh, uh, you know, shit happens, I guess, you know. Uh, coming down, got my Sega games, the boxed games. Balls, horrible game. Uh, Chuck Han, the Forever Man. Uh, Shinobi 3, that is a great game. I love this game on the Genesis. Fighting Masters, if you've never played it, that is a weird fighting game. That, uh, that was one of the first Sega games I'd ever played, and when I saw it in the store, I had to buy it. Sonic 2, The Punisher, that one cost me about 50 bucks. Uh, and the price has come down a little bit, but that's still kind of a rare one I have on the Sega. Eternal Champions, Revolution X, that was, uh, like a dollar fifty right there, so... Mortal Kombat, Arch Rivals, and Shadowrun. I uh, talked about that game in a previous video, but you can kind of see my other games here. If you come in a little bit, kind of see. The blank one here is actually um, Mortal Kombat, or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, not too many on the Sega, but once again, I was mainly focusing on Nintendo. Over here, I can actually name off my entire Super Nintendo collection. Cybernator, Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, Clue, Lawnmower Man, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Wing Commander, and Chrono Trigger. Up here, <laughs> I actually got a couple of Atari Jaguar games. Fight for Life and Iron Soldier. Iron Soldier, I actually like that game. So, uh, those are neat. Uh, Nintendo 64. Unfortunately, I have two right now. Mario Tennis and Perfect Dark. Uh, for the Nintendo 64, you know, I'm after, like, Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'm actually after the Star Wars uh, Shadows of the Empire. That's going to be... That was always one of my favorites. So, um, I, I'm going to be doing some covers for a friend of mine, once again, Dark One Films, and he's got some Nintendo 64 games he's gonna send to me for that. So I'm real stoked about that. Down here, <clears throat> we've got Sega Saturn and Sega CD games. Sega Saturn Tomb Raider, Solar Eclipse, Night Warriors, Fighters Mega Mix, Space Hulk, Soviet Strike, Virtual On, and Alien Trilogy. On the Sega CD, I've got Stellar Fire, Thunder Strike, and Rise of the Dragon. My uncle said he has uh, Dark Wizard, which he's going to give to me, which is pretty neat. I can't wait. Uh, PlayStation 1 games. And these aren't all my PlayStation 1 games, mind you. But Mortal Kombat 3, Descent, Warhawk, in the big cases. And then down here, uh, Wing Commander 4, MTV Music Generator, Xenogears. That's a hard one to get these days. Um, I'm real happy to still have that in my collection, and surprisingly, which I'm real, real happy about, it, uh, it's the actual game. I mean, I even have the case, the label to it, and the, um, <coughs> the, um, uh, book to it and everything. I was talking about Iron Soldier earlier. Uh, I've got Iron Soldier 3 on the PS, PS1. RPG Maker. Uh, Project Horned Owl, Mission Impossible, Metal Gear Solid. I, uh, you know how big of a Metal Gear Solid fan I am, and I have not the collectors or not the uh, um, greatest hits copy, but an original Metal Gear Solid. And then Final Fantasy VII. A lot of people can't say they have this because this is another one that's hard to find. This, unfortunately. Didn't have the case, didn't have the label, so I had to kind of make a label for it. So it turned out decently, even though it's kind of a pinkish purple. But um, yeah, I was real happy about that. And then, uh, oh, nuts. Oh, great. That's kind of embarrassing. And thankfully, I have plenty to replace it with. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, yeah, that's uh, the Crash Bandicoot Warped, and this is probably Tomb Raider 2. Sega Dreamcast, one of the only games I have right now displayed. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Getting over to the PSP section, here's a few games. Uh, Peace Walker, Daxter, Hot Shots Golf, uh, Lumines. I don't know how to really say that. I don't know, don't know if that's how you say it. 
uh, Portable Ops, Mercury Meltdown, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, Burnout, Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, Monster Hunter Freedom 2, Wipeout Pure. Now, this right here, this is a computer game. Uh, the Space Quest Collection, if you've never played it, that's a must. I will be showcasing this game. I will be uh, doing a video specifically on the set of the, the series. It's a great game about an intergalactic plumber. Or, uh, I'm sorry, intergalactic janitor. And then down here, we've got some more computer games. You know, World of Warcraft, StarCraft 2, Left 4 Dead, EVE Online. Duke Nukem 3D. Atomic Edition. This is when Duke Nukem was actually good. Earth Siege. That's one of my favorite mech games right there. I found that for 99 cents. Uh, I was happy to find that. I'm really so excited about this. This right here. I don't want to take it out because I don't want to check what the cartridge is here. Final Fantasy 7 on the PC. And then City Villains. My Atari games. Uh, they speak for themselves. They're nice and, and bold so you can see what's going on there. Got my Turok, uh, so whenever I pre-ordered it, whenever I thought it was going to be a good game, it turned out to be crap. And then uh, a few DS games, uh, Geometry Wars, Galaxies, Mario Kart DS, Resident Evil, Sonic, Classic Collections, uh, you know, and it kind of goes on. My, um, about four, the boxed Atari, oh, the boxed Game Boy Advance games, Fantasy Star, Max Payne, Shining Force, and Boktai. Boktai, completely original. Uh, it's a neat game. Uses a solar panel in the cartridge to fight monsters. Uh, and then some in television games. Uh, the actual talking in television games. B-17 Bombers, Space Spartans, and Bomb Squad. Those are games from my childhood that uh, when I saw they were like 50 cents a piece, I couldn't help but pick them up. So, yeah. So, this is my uh, game room, once again. And uh, I'm real... Real happy that I finally got it done. Uh, man, it, it took some time. This room was a mess. So, here it is. This is where I can kind of escape. So, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for all that's interested. Uh, I'll be, like I said, showcasing more of these games as time goes on. So, uh, keep on watching. Uh, as, as always, please subscribe. Uh, I've got more good stuff on the way. Talk to you later.